What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive rank series 12 double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an absolute banger of a team that features one of my favorite combos of all time, Extra Drill and Tyranitar. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if that's one of you guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel because it really does help me grow as a content creator. But before we get started in today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to That's A Plus One and his Patreon community for making this team. I will be leaving a link down in the description down below to That's A Plus One's channel and more importantly to his Patreon for actually creating this team. So again, huge shout out to him. Make sure you guys definitely go show him some jeans love. Check out his Patreon and subscribe to his channel. Like I said, link is down in the description below. But let's get started here with the team preview over here we got the one and only yvelta and i've been loving this pokemon on series 12 because it is super super strong in most instances in the battles it's got the dark aurora as its ability the black glasses as an item and then a great move set of foul play for physical attackers oblivion wing for stab and hp recovery and then we got tailwind to set up speed control and last but not least protect cannot go wrong with protect on any mon in doubles right next to him is going to be tyranitar and this tyranitar is rocking a crazy cool move set with a lot of different coverage moves obviously its ability is going to be sand stream to pair well with the sand rush extra we got the soul best as item but then look at the move set we got dark pulse for stab and then we got blizzard earth power and thunderbolt all for coverage moves god love it this pokemon could probably get in, in most situations and do super effective damage up against most pokemon middle left is going to be one of my favorite pokemon of all time we got extra over here sand rush to double its speed in the sandstorm so it pairs well with that tyranitar then we got that focus ash as item so it can't be one tap then we're rocking rock slide eq iron head and protecting this move set Mwah. it is beautiful it is beautiful cannot go wrong with it just super super good in dynamax and super good all around considering you know steel and ground are really good typings in this meta fourth pokemon on the team is going to be Rillaboom, and Rillaboom is rocking the life orb this time and i really do like that because it is a g-max Rillaboom. it can dynamax it can do some big damage all around so give it the life orb it can do more damage and pick up even more ko's it's rocking obviously the grassy surges its ability and then we got knock off take off items you turn to pivot out Fake out for flinches, and then we got Grassy Glide for stab. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon, Dynamaxim, or I should say G-Maxim, and get after the battle that way. Bottom left-hand corner is a top-tier restricted mod on the team. It's going to be Zacian. Interpret Sword, Rust Sword to give it that attack boost, and then we got Close Combat, Protect, Iron Head, and Play Rough, a fairly normal moveset for any Zacian. Last Pokemon on the team is going to be Incineroar. Works well in every single team. You guys already know to deal with Incineroar. Super, super strong. Great move set and just can just control the battle really, really well. It's got Intimidate as its ability, Citrus Berry as its item. So when we fall below half, we're gonna get some HP recovery. Then we got Flare Blitz, Darkest Lariat, Parting Shot for that attack slash special attack drop. And last but not least, we gotta have Fake Out on this dude. So we got Fake Out for Flinches. Guys, you wanna try out the team for yourself? We got that rental code right at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that Series 12 ladder and look to get some wins with this Exigil and Tyranitar Series 12 Sandstorm team. Let's try to get this video started off on a strong note with a win in battle number one. We're going up against a Zacian and Groudon team that features Chlorophyll Venusaur. Then he has Thunderous, which I had, if I had to guess, probably support maybe Rock and Eerie Impulse on the Prankster side. Could definitely see that. Could definitely see that with this team. And then he also has the Umbreon. And last but not least, he is rocking out with that Incineroar. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like weather could be really, really good for us. I could go Incineroar and Yubelta to try to get Tailwind Speed Control. And I kind of like that. I kind of like going in with these two, maybe faking out and rolling out from there. I'm digging it a lot. I'm definitely digging that a lot. And then last but not least, do we go Tyranitar, Extra or do we just go Zacian and maybe just Extra in the back end? Or we can go Roboom. We could indeed go Roboom here, but I feel like Weather Control could definitely be great for us. Hmm. I really do like Roboom. Hmm. What's the Gene's call here? What is the Gene's call? Actually, I could just like take out Incineroar here. And I could go Yavelta and Exigil here. Bring Zacian. And then bring Tyrantar. I kind of like that. Restricted Mons alongside with Weather Control. I feel like I really, really like that. I'm thinking, let's lock it down. Let's lock it down. I really wanted to go into that fake out combo, but then looking at that, I was like, dude, we need Zacian. There's no way we don't bring Zacian. And I really and I really want weather control here because you know, if we let him have the control with the drought and the chlorophyll Venusaur, it's pretty much gonna be GG's. These are Master Sheer battles. Our opponent is actually like 1,200 or 1,500. I might have misread it, but we're sitting at 3,200 something. We just made it into Master Tier. So these are gonna be some solid battles for us. We go Zacian alongside Chlorophyll Venusaur, and I could hard swap here. But I don't think I am. I don't think I am going to hard swap. We're going to go right into here. And I could set up a Tailwind. Which is probably going to be my play. Going to a Tailwind. And then probably maybe just go into an EQ. 
Right? I'm rocking EQ or am I rocking high horsepower? One or the other. One or the other I'm rocking. Could go straight into an oblivion. But Tailwind is definitely in play. We'll Tailwind and I could just shut off a free EQ. Which I'm really liking. I'm really liking the free EQ here. I could obviously Dynamax, but I just don't think it's the play right now. You think he swaps Ascian? No, he's just going to straight up Dynamax. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the straight up Dynamax here. I'm definitely fine with that. So he's just going to Dynamax Venusaur. He's not going to hard swap. So I'm I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Let's just see what he does. He go for that special attack boost, but I really don't see him doing it. Let's see what his play is here. Protect's going to come out from Zacian. That's a fine turn. That's a fine turn. We set up a free Tailwind. We are going to take speed control away from the Zacian and away from the uh, Venusaur while it's not uh, Chlorophyll right now. Done with it all day. Chip up a little bit of damage onto that uh, Venusaur, and that's some good damage. Tailwind's going to set up, and what's he going to go for here? Is he going to go for a Vine Lash? He has to go for a Vine Lash, right? What's he chipping with? Max Quake he's going into. So he's going to hit up on my x -Drill. My x -Drill's Focus Ash is going to pop. I really do like where we're sitting here. I really, really like where we're sitting here. I really like where we're sitting here. I could Dynamax at Yvelta here. I could honestly Dynamax at Yvelta. He's going to get that special defense boost. I could go into a free EQ and do some big damage over on Zacian. And I could go either into a Dynamax on a Yvelta into Airstreams. Or I could just go into straight up Blue. Let me see this thing stats. Let me see this thing stats. Let me see this thing stats. Let me see, let me see our boy stats. Hmm. That's kind of bulky. I don't think we're Dynamaxing this guy. I really don't think we're down to maximum. I'm going to go straight into the Oblivion Wing. And I'm just going to drop a lovely EQ again. I think EQ is just our play. Right. Extra is probably going to go down soon. We still have the Tyranitar. He might hard swap now. But if he does hard swap, we might still be faster than him because of the Tailwind. That's really, really good that we have that out on the field. Really, really lovely. So I'm hoping he keeps that Zacian in after Protect It. Because EQ can do some big damage on it. He's going to end up Max Garden. That's totally fine. And we're just going to drop a nice level EQ. Come on, yo. Give me a crit. Give me something special onto the extra here. Or not the extra. Onto the uh, Zacian. Extra coming up big. Doing some big damage. That's some big old damage. I really want the crit. Oblivion Wing is going to get blocked. And what's he going to go for with Zacian? He's going to take out my extra here? He's got to take out my extra, right? Who's he going after? Go after your belt, please. That'd be amazing. He goes after extra. So extra drops out here. Um, At this point, I just bring out my own Zacian. Right? I just bring out Zacian. A free play it's a free play all day bring out zassian we can go into free behemoth blades onto that uh onto that what's it called if we want to onto that venus one we can go to free behemoth blades it's double damage i'm loving it we got the speed chilling we still can dynamax or yvelta but i might save it for my tyrantar right should i save it for tyrantar let me see tyrantar stats i really didn't check out these pokemon stats yet but tyrantar should be dynamaxable yeah special always oh, special attacking love it Love it, yeah. He's going to be our Dynamax one. Faux show. Faux show. So from here, um, I think we just... Foul play? I think foul play could still take this thing out. I really do think foul play is going to be able to take that out with the Dark Aurora and all that good stuff. And then we just Behemoth Blade over here. And Behemoth Blade, huge damage. Double damage on Dynamax Pokemon. He ends up just hard swapping the uh, Venusaur. I'm cool with that all day. So we kind of just waste his Dynamax turns. And who's he going to go into from here? Maybe Groudon? Who are you going into? He's going to go... Okay, great play. Incineroar is going to flop out here. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. So we could hard swap into uh, Tyranitar if we want to. He's going to attack drop us. Hopefully this foul play should be able to take out this. Uh, it should be able to take out this uh, Bastion here. I'm really hoping it can. And if I had to guess, he has the Groudon and the Venusaur as his final two. Right. So right now we're just saving. We're just like saving our uh, our uh, Tyranitar to get him in at a good time. So foul play pokes. And there it is. Big time KO. I absolutely love you about that. Just super, super strong. This guy can now go in the fake outs if you want to. And I'm not even going to protect any of my mons. I feel like we just get straight after these guys. Because who's he going to go into? Groudon here or Venusaur? He goes into the ground. So Groudon pokes through here. I could hard swap from here. I could definitely hard swap. But I feel like we double down into Groudon, right? Do we double down? That's the real question. That is the real question. Or I could just foul play here. And protect. Protect might be our player. Hmm. But we don't want him to read my protect. That's our problem. We do not want him to read my protect and do something damage. So yeah, we are just gonna protect this turn. I'll protect it all day. It's an absolute must to protect it. Because if we don't protect him, he's just gonna hit us with a heavy spice blades and pretty much solidify the battle for him. So he goes for a fake out and he does read it. He does indeed read it. I knew it. I knew it. 
I knew it. Jeans knew it. And he's going to bulk up. I knew it. Yeah, what a read by him. So big read by him. He's going to bulk up, get that defensive boost. And he might protect this turn. Tailwind Peter's out here. Uh, ch -ch -ch. What's her play? Another Tailwind? Did we Tailwind here? Maybe we should just foul play into that. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, I think I'm just going to close combat. Try to take this thing out. Yeah. Close combat coming in here. Bill, take him out, please. Thank you very much. So we take out Incineroar. I do not mind if I Zassy goes out. He goes for Blades, that's fine, because then he cannot swap out that Pokemon, and we still have our Dynamax. So I'm really actually hoping he goes for Blades. Go for Blades. Go for Blades. My Yavata still outspeeds, which is amazing. Look at that damage. That's some huge damage. Blades comes through here. Mwah, that's pretty much just solidifying the battle for us. And Zassy dodges it. Woo! Actually, I did not want him to dodge it, though. I did not want him to dodge that. I did not want him to dodge it. I kind of wanted him just to go down there. And how many turns left in the drought? I could try to set up a Tailwind, but he is just going to go put me to sleep here. He's definitely going to put me to sleep, but I think we just go straight into a Blades. We do outspeed it. Let's just do this. This is definitely a play. I really wanted him to take out my Zassian, but he just canceled battle anyway because I wanted to get out my T-Tar and Dynamax him because I knew the battle was just a win from there. Let's get it. That is how it is done. That is how you get the video started with a big fat W and we didn't even use our Dynamax. You gotta love it. You got to love it. But guys, I didn't even ask you guys a question of the day. Let me know in the comment section down below what Pokemon do you think deserves a buff in this game? Considering there is no such thing as nerfs or buffs in this game. I wish they did do like monthly or like every three months they added nerfs or buffs, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So let me know in the comment section down below what Pokemon do you think needs a little bit of loving and do you think needs a little bit of a buff? Let me know down in the comment section down below. But we're hopping into our second battle here. Going up against a really cool team. He has a Gothitelle's second evolution. Or yeah, that's his second evolution. I don't even know its name. Probably holding the Evo Light. And then it has Umbreon, Malwak, Alola Malwak, and then uh Regilecki, Palkia, and Zass. It's a really cool team, and I'm kind of scared of it because I do not know how it's gonna play out here. Could definitely go into a trick room, and trick room could be scary. So from here, who do I want to go into? Who do I want to go into? From here? I could go Rillaboom. Rillaboom can be really, really nice in a lot of these situations. So you know what? I am going to end up leading the Rillaboom alongside with the... Uh, I could go Yabelta. I could go Yabelta and maybe hold off on the Tailwind just to see what they're going to do. Or I could go Zassi in turn one. Zassi could be nice. But we're going to go into Yabelta. Actually, we're going to go extra with that Sash. I really do like that. We're going to bring Yabelta and Zassi in. I like this squad. I really am digging the squad. So we're going to bring Extra. That's something I really, really like about Extra. He can be brought in all situations. You don't even need the Sand Stream to bring him in. Some, uh, some weather Pokemon rely heavily on that way. Extra is not one. He can be brought in any situation and do work all around. Especially because he is a ground typing and he can do some work up against Sassy. So giving him that Focus Sash, he can soak up a shot easily and then just get off some huge damage. But this guy's going to throw out Gotharita and Umbreon. Gotorita and Umbreon. So we can fake out the... Uh, ooh, is that thing ghost typing? Because Umbreon's inner focus. Umbreon is 100% inner focus. It can yawn up on me. It can do a lot of different stuff. So, uh... Ba -ba -ba -ba. What does Jeans want to do here? What does Jeans want to do? Is that thing ghost typing? That's the real question. I think it might be. So that could be a solid lead. It's just psychic. So, you know what? We'll rip into it. We'll rip into it with a fake out. Or I could just U-turn or knock off. Knock off a Tivo light and take it out. I'm with it all day. Look for the flinches. I'm with this all day. We're not even going to go for the fake out. We're not even going to go for the fake out. Rockside's going to come out here. And we're going to drop some damage. Look for some flinches. And more importantly, let's get this knockout here. Beal. Get off some huge damage. So that's some big old damage. We take off its uh, Evo Light. And we're going to get rolling from there. So that we have life for him. This thing's just going to yawn. Yawn up onto him. Okay, so he yawns up onto me. Uh, I'm cool with that. I could do a hard swap from here. And that thing did flinch. Mwah, lovely turn. Okay, so we got a lovely turn out here. I could just go for a rock slide here. It might protect. I think rock slide maybe into grassy glide. Or I could hard swap and go into grassy glide. I'm kind of liking the hard swap here. I'm kind of liking the hard swap. But also U-turn. U-turn KO and get the get the big old double swap. Hmm. Hmm. Or I could take off your item. What's my play? U-turn's looking good. Maybe get an extra little back out here. Let's go U-turn and then swap into Zess. Oh, he has Shadow Tag. Okay, so he can't be swapped out. Okay. 
So the yawn, and we're not not able to swap out. Yawn into, or we can U-turn, see if we can swap out, because we could kill, and that goes away. And we'll look for the flinch here. Okay, I'm with it. I like it. I dig it. Probably should have went for an iron head, but rock slide's where it's at. Dude, love me some little rock slide here. Big old damage. And you turn popping out here. Hopefully we get that flinch on the umbrella. So I'm hoping since this thing goes down, the shadow tag is off, and then we can swap. That's what I'm hoping. Come on, give me the swap. Give me the swap. Give me the swap. Beautiful. Beautiful. So it works perfectly there. I can bring out Zassian all day. And he might go into... Do we think he's yawning in here? He might be. Max Jewel does go to sleep here, which is kind of tough, but we'll see who he brings out. The sleeps are tough. We're going to bring out Zassian, and then if he does go into uh, a yawn here, I'm just going to hard swap. I cannot afford this Pokemon to go to sleep. Let's see. Yawn comes out here. And he's doing it all day. God dang it, man. So we have to hard swap here. That's tough news. My boy is going to go to sleep. Mm. Hate this game. I hate it. I hate it. I hate this game. Um, I could change the terrain, right? Oh, no. I cannot Dynamax Zassian. I was going to say, I could Dynamax and get after it. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. So hard swap definitely coming out from Zassian. Or I could stay in there and go straight for a play rough. Ooh, I could. But he might protect. He might protect. I think we might just hard swap in the robe here. Just have fake out ready to go. And just try to get off some turns with this thing. Right? right? Try to get off some turns with this. We'll play this one slow. Dynamax can come out with Palkia, but yo, Umbreon might be doing us dirty here. Umbreon, leave me alone. Leave me alone. But I'm kind of I was kind of scared of what that Gotharita had in store. I was really curious, but good thing we just knocked it off. Got an easy flinch with the rock slide, and we just went from there. We just went from there. But, yo, the Shadow Tag is really, really good. I think that might be a huge reason to why it's in there. It's bulky. If Pokemon do not have knockoff, it keeps that Evil Light, and it kind of just rolls out from there. And then Umbreon can yawn. Nobody can swap out. It's just free sleep. So we're going to hard swap here. Extra is slumped. What's he going to go for? Maybe Hydro Pump? Yawn comes out. What a read! You son of a biscuit. What a read. I'll give it to him all day. Trick Room coming out here. So this thing's popping a Trick Room. I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> So he pops a trick and we can't swap. I could U-turn swap. Yeah, U-turn swap's probably your play. U-turn swap, probably your play. The Umbreon, no need for fake out. And then I'm just going to go for a straight Iron Head. I really got to start dealing damage onto this Pokemon. So we're U-turn swapping. I'll do damage on them. Dude, the read, yo, he reads my hard swap. Oh, dude, this game. This game doing me dirty. So he has Trick Room out and about. I feel like speed... How is speed with this? This speed's kind of like weird. It's really weird. It's not like anybody really outspeeds somebody like crazy. So I can't really tell. I mean, what's called Michael first now? I'm going Michael first. That might, that might trigger his yawn thing a little worse. Yeah, there's the withdrawal into the Umbreon. So we're going to U-turn out onto him. On his ass. Okay. And we're going to Iron Head across onto him. Okay. And Extra's gonna be slower, so I can't get off a free EQ next turn. But Zass or, or Extra should be waking up very, very soon. And here comes Dynamax out of the pit. So Palkia's gonna get the Dynamax. But I think guess he might or probably is gonna go for a geyser. Or he might just go for a uh, worm one to get that attack drop. We'll see. But if that's the case, we're hard swapping. We're gonna be thriving. I like where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting. I really, really, really like where we're sitting. Let's see. You turn pokes here. We swapping out. We're not going to sleep. And the real question is, who do I bring out from here? Who do I bring out? Do I bring out Yavelto or do I bring out Zassi? I could bring out Zassi. Zassi needs to be real fine. Real fine. And if he is going for a... Uh, if he is going for a dragon move onto this slot, I'm going to swap into this. That can waste a turn all day because we are very So let's swap into this and we're going to have fingers crossed for the one win coming into this slot. Man. Show it to me, baby. Don't geyser. Don't geyser me. Do not geyser me. Worm win me, dude. Worm win my Zacian. Geyser. God dang. It. Okay, that's still fine considering we're sashed. I do like that turn all day. So we're sashed. Going to poke out here. And I like the speed here. I do indeed like the speed here. So in this instance, I could just straight up protect. Um... Which I might have to do. Extra still asleep, bro. Get out of my face, dude. Get out of my face. Okay, so in this instance, I gotta protect, and I think I'm just gonna drop a free EQ, right? Protect into the EQ. Do like that. Protect EQ popping all day. Gotta get off some damage on the his Zacian. 
Gotta do it, gotta do it. There's no way his Palki goes into my extra. He's gotta be going into my Zassian slot. And he can't go into a Wormwind onto him. Unless he's smart and he goes into a Wormwind onto extra Joe, reading the protect and just getting the attack drop. That would be a huge play because he already did make one good read off him onto me already, which was that yawn on my hard swap. But if he makes this play, he a genius. This dude deserves to win if he makes this play. Let's see, this is a great battle. This is why I love being higher up in the master. We have battles like this where both opponents are thinking really, really hard and we're just rolling out from there. I protect my Zassian. What's he going to do? He's not going to protect Zassian. And he does make that play. He makes that play, yo. I got to give a round of applause to this guy. This guy makes a play, yo. Great play by him. We saw for Dynamax, though. We saw for Dynamax. What a play, man. What a play. 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 Dang, yo. What a play. All right. So from here, we have her, we have her Yavelta, but I kind of want to save my Yavelta. I kind of just want to go into my Robim here. I could Dynamax it. I'm thinking of just Dynamax in turn one. I'm thinking Zassian protects here, right? Do we have to make our hard reads now? I feel like it is our turn to make hard reads. I feel like it is our turn to make these hard reads. It's got to be our turn now. It's our turn to make these hard reads. <laughs> we can go into the play rough. I'm going to double down into you. And, oh, this is not G-Max. I thought it was G-Max. I thought it was G Max. I did indeed thought it was G Max. Uh, we could go for the darkness. Special defense drop. We could go for a special attack drop. Or we could just go into the over. Just get off the big damage. Let me see his, let me see my boy's stats here. He's gotta be he's gotta be our Dynamax Pokemon. But I just wanna see his stats. He is orb. I thought it was G Max. Why isn't this thing G Max, man? I would totally rather have a G Max, but it'd be like that sometimes. It'd be like that sometimes. But we're still gonna Dynamax him. We're gonna roll after into the overgrowth and just double down into this Palkia here. Let's see if it guards. Hopefully it doesn't guard because we're doubling down into it. We're hoping we're getting a Zassian read here. Hopefully his Zassian protects because, you know, chances are we could just fake out. But no, we die. We try to get after it the best way possible. And this is not G-Max, man. That's, that's upsetting. That is upsetting. But we're going to take it to the bank. We're trying to win this game here. Give me some big HP boost there. And let's get rolling. Here. Protect Zassian. Protect. He does not protect, yo. No protect comes out from him. We're going straight into this overgrowth here. We're going to chip off some damage on this. And have big old damage. Big old damage. Let's see what his Palkia goes for. His Palkia is going to go for that straight warm win. Smart play by him. He's going to get that attack drop onto me. A huge play by him. Hopefully he doesn't double down into my... Uh, He's going to double down in my roll boom. That's a good play. His Palkia's going to be really, really close. It's going to be super, super close. And we... Oh, he goes first. He's going to take out my uh, roll boom. God dang it, man. God dang, he takes out my Robum all day. So Dynamax is gone for us already. And his Dynamax is going to be gone as well. Actually, dude, my boy's minus two. I mean, my boy's only minus one, but still. He might be able to soak that up now. Let's see what happens here. Player off pokes out here. Does not take him out. Oh, he sells Umbreon. Uh, we have Yavelta here. Which I think Yavelta might be slow, slower than Palkia in the trick. See how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays. I could double protect. Double Protect could come in here. Double Protect might be our play. We have the Dark Aurora poking. Oh, this one's tough. This one's going to be super, super close. Super, super close. So, Palkia comes out here. Our Dynamax went to waste. It went to waste. And let me see the speed on this thing. Let me see the speed on this thing. 149. Hmm, let's see. 120. Ah, okay. Uh, what do I want to do? How many turns left in Trick Room? Let's check that out. Trick Room has one turn left. So, again, I could double protect. And double protect probably our play, right? I'm really liking the double protect here. I'm really, really liking the double protect. Waste out the Trick Room turns and just go from there. What a battle. What a battle. But, dude, this guy making hard reads on us. Definitely deserves to win, in my opinion. Those two reads were phenomenal. They're really, 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 really good. Reads my hard swap, and he read my protect on his Zassian and went straight into a Wormwind just for that attack job. He tries to go for a Hydro Pump. It's a great protect for us. We have to take out Palkia next turn. He's going to go for a Behemoth Blade, which we are. Okay, so I'm cool with that. I'm thriving with it. Um, from here, we go into the play rough. We take out the Palkia, and then we just go into a, uh, a foul play, right? Yeah, all day. All day long. So we go there, foul play, dropping over here. Even though it's not very effective, it does so much damage. It's amazing, especially with the black glasses, alongside with that, uh, what's it called? Alongside with the Dark Aurora, so boosting those Dark-type moves all day. 
It's just, it's just our counters asking really, really well here. He's gonna go for the blade. We should be able to soak this up all day, right? All day, baby cakes. All day, Yvelta. Need you to soak this up. All day, right? All day. Love you. Love you, love you, love you. Fat boys can come out here, chip up some big old damage here, and we're gonna get thriving from there. Okay, so from here, what can I do? We could protect his ass here. That could definitely be play. I could protect my Yvelta. It's coming down to the wire here. What's our play? What is our play? Bump, 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 bump. He has Umbreon, and his only thing with his Umbreon is really... Oh, he does have foul play with that. His thing with the Umbreon is going into... What's it called? I wish we had Sucker Punch with this. The thing with the Umbreon is he goes into a lot of... Uh... What Behemoth Blade take out? I don't know. We're going to still go into a Behemoth Blade. We kind of close. I have to protect you. E, this is too scary. Hopefully he doesn't protect Zassian. Yvelta protects. I don't think he's protecting Zassian. Because Zassian would have went first. What's he rocking with? Quick attack comes out here. Oh, beautiful block. Beautiful protect by us. He needs Blade. I need, I need us to take out if we want to win. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! Ah! 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 Okay. What's your play here? I think we have to read his protect now. I think we have to read his protect or we lose, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's super tough. Or we can just hope he outspeed. No, he has quick attack. He has quick attack. He has quick attack. We're going to go here and I'm going to go for the double protect. I think I have to go for a double protect, right? Let's go. Let's run it. Run it, Yvelta. Run it up. He protects it anyway. Knew we should just double down into that Umbreon. Knew we should double down into that Umbreon. Dude, this guy's making such good plays. GG's this guy. GG's this guy. Gonna, that's over with. He's just gonna go for the foul play. And we eat that up, though. Oh, it goes into Yvelta. Never mind. We do not eat that up. And my boy goes to sleep. That's GG's. That is GG's. So if we would have doubled down, we maybe would have had a shot. Because I would have went to an Oblivion run. Get some HP back that way. Would have been close. But Zassian goes to sleep here. That's game over. That is game over. I'm running from this one. We are now sitting at one and one in the match here with this phenomenal team. And that second battle was super, super good. Like I said, round of applause to our opponent for making such good plays and ending up winning the battle. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. We're going up against a Yvelta team alongside with Kai Ogre, Regilecki, Grimmsnarl, Rillaboom, and Metagross. So a lot of different Pokemon he could Dynamax here. I definitely want to try to get into the T-Tar and Exodil combo. So I'm thinking of just leading straight up Exodil from here. I really do like that. I really do like that. So I am going to lead Exodil. I think I might lead Yvelta and then maybe be able to hard swap Tyranitar in this situation. I do think that. Because who, who's going to lead? Who might he lead? He might lead Rillaboom for the fake out, which is fine. In that case, he's... He's gonna have to probably fake out my extra drill, and then we can just go into the oblivion wing from there. And then we have T-Tar in the back end, and then Zacian. I'm digging it. Our only problem here is going to be that Kai Ogre getting that weather control. Metagross is a little scary, but you know, we have that extra drill with the max break, stab move, get off some big damage on it. So I'm liking our team right here. I'm liking the squad. Let's grab ourselves the winning record. Let's grab the winning record. We have solid battles so far. I feel like this video has been really, really good with some great competitive battles in the rank double ladder for you guys. So hopefully you guys are enjoying. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Let's see who he goes into. He's going to lead the Metagross alongside with the Grimstar. I'm really cool with that. I am really cool with that. I could just go straight into a Dynamax. Straight into a Dynamax. He is probably weak. To, if I had to guess, I think it's probably weakness policy. Maybe I don't want to trigger it just yet. He might protect this turn. Thinking I'm going to Dynamax. This is looking really good. I'm not even going to lie. A foul play is looking so good. Or I can set up a free tail and see how that plays. I like this. I like this. He might Dynamax the Metagross. He might protect it. I'm liking this turn. Set up the Tailwind, go into an Iron Head on Grimstar, and just read out what he's doing. I indeed like it. Because he could Dynamax. He could definitely Dynamax. Hoping that we're proccing policy here. And he is going to do that. He is going to Dynamax, hoping we're proccing policy. Because, like, like I said, Metagross is always rock policy. So, uh, you got to be really careful for it. Because, you know, if you, uh, you do that, you can just steamroll him. But he, he does have Ice Punch. So he could go into a Hailstorm. He could indeed go into a Hailstorm. Or he might go into that defense buff with the uh, with the Steel Spike. See how this one plays. Light Screen's going to set up here. Okay. I'm with the Light Screen all day. I'm with the Light Screen all day. 
We're gonna go for the light screen. Iron Head comes in here. Okay, this thing has Babiri Berry. I was gonna say, did we miss? There's no way we missed. But Iron Head comes in here. He's Babiri Berry up. We still chunk up some huge damage there. Babiri Berry weaken the damage. And then we're just gonna be able to rock out into a Tailwind here. And then uh, could go into a Foul Pipe. We could double down into a Mech Turn. Quake's gonna fly through here. He's going after my Extra Drill. That's fine. So he's just special defense boosting up. Even though we're physical attacking here. So Extra is gonna drop out here. So no sand stream for him. No sand stream for him. I think we just rock straight into this quake here and alongside with our uh, foul play. He might say he's, he's got to be set up a reflect here, right? It's got to be the reflect. It's got to be the reflect. But let's go into this. Let's go into this. This actually might be able to work really, really well. The reason I say this is because if we can proc policy, boost his attack, and then hit him with a foul play. Could be really, really good for us. Could be really, really good for us. But if he sets up that reflect, then it could be a little tough for us. Which I think he's going to do. He's got to be rocking reflect, right? No way he doesn't go into reflect here. Oh, he could be rocking sucker punch. Right? He could be rocking sucker punch. Did not think of that. Did not think of that. And if he is, I'm, I'm kind of scared. I think we lose this one. Please do not be rocking sucker punch. Just go into the reflect at that point. Do not sucker punch me. He's scary facing me. Okay. Go to a scary face. I'm with that all day. Actually, it kind of kind of screws up my, my mojo here. Because now foul play comes out first. Even though foul play is ripping. But actually still should be faster than that meta grows. Look at that. Yo, foul play rips. Actually should still go first here. EQ comes through. That's beautiful. Take out that meta grows. Take him out. All day. All day, extra. All day, extra. All day, baby. Loving it. Still works out perfectly. You can scary face me up. I'm still outspeeding you. I'm still outspeeding you. Waste that Dynamax turn all day. Waste your Dynamax all day. Waste it, dude. Waste it all day. We still have Tailwind set up. Thought he was going to go into a Sucker Punch. But yo, that works out perfectly. That works out perfectly. Okay, so from here, we got to get rid of that Grimstar. He's going to throw out his next bomb, which is going to be that Yavelta. So Yavelta flies through here. We still have a nice little speed here. And I think Extra Drill should be faster than... Extra Drill still should be faster than that Yavelta. So I'm just going to go into that. And I might just Oblivion Wing. Double down into this guy. Yeah, and we're just hoping he's not rocking the... Uh, Okay, just cancel the battle. There it is, yo. Winning record in the Master Tier with the Extra Drill Squad. Ladies and gentlemen, we tore it up in the Master Tier with the T-Tar and Extra Drill Squad. Two and one and grab ourselves that winning record. Got to show off this team pretty much to its fullest potential. The only thing we really didn't get to show off was the Extra Drill and T-Tar together as well. We got to show off the T-Tar separately alongside with the Extra Drill separately, and it just worked out perfectly. It really did. It's just really, really tough to get out both of them considering now in this series, People are always rocking somebody with weather because you can rock Groudon with another Restrictive Mon, Kai Ogre with another Restrictive Mon, and just go from it that way. It's really, really tough to get in the weather, but it is what it is. The scene still works out phenomenally, and it dominates in that master. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.